On this RV decor series, I'm going to talk about mood boards and how they can help you find your style in your RV. Today, I wanted to share with you some tips and tricks on how to find your style for your RV. I know a lot of people know what they like and know what they want, but then when you put it in the camper, it may not quite go together. I am completely guilty of this. I have not made mood boards and then it doesn't really work. So what I wanted to show you and talk to you about is how to know if stuff's gonna go together. You can make a mood board on Canva and I will link in the description box a video on how to do that. I do not use Canva, I use Milanote. You can use it for free, but you can't upload very many pictures to it. So I don't know that it would be great for a mood board without having to pay for it. I use it to organize my YouTube on like videos and when do I need to post them and everything. So that's what I use this for. I made up several mood boards here to show you. Visually, and I'm a visual person, visually it can show you what your room is gonna look like and if everything is gonna go together. It depends on what kind of style you want. If you want a cabin style, maybe you want a boho style, a farmhouse style, or even a beach themed RV. A lot of RV people, you kinda have a theme in your RV. Most of you know this, but the first thing you wanna figure out is what style you want or like. You can go to Pinterest to find this out. You can just look through all different pictures and see what kind of calls to you. Now, there's one thing that I want everybody to know that your camper does not have to always be Instagram perfect. A lot of these pictures that you see on Instagram of these beautiful campers with all this precise stuff is just for the pictures. Now, you can have a nice camper and it can look beautiful. Just don't strive to be that Instagram perfect picture because you might get disappointed in the end. It might not be that, but it might be exactly what you want. Don't set your expectations up here. Bring them down just a little bit. Bring them down to what normal people's campers would look like, not the Instagram idea. The great thing about doing a mood board is you can take pictures of like your cabin tree inside the RV and then that way you have that color on your mood board so you know whether things go with that or not. Or if you're thinking about painting your RV a color, you can take that swatch and put it on your mood board and know that if it's gonna go with all the other things. On these mood boards, I just went to Amazon and searched a few different styles and put some stuff together from there. I will link in case you see something on these mood boards that you like. I'll put a link in the description box to each style that I did, that stuff that came from Amazon. That way, if you like it, maybe you might can go do it. Now, originally when I was gonna do this video, I wanted to buy each of these RV styles from Amazon and then show it to you in the camper. But that was gonna, Amazon was gonna hate me because I'd be returning a lot of stuff. But I just wanted you to know, no matter what RV decor style you like, you can make your RV meet what you love. A big thing that you can do is you can take these boards and pull them up and leave them up on your computer. And then that way, every time you walk by it, you can look at it. Another thing, you don't limit yourself just to Amazon or something. If you're in a store shopping and you see something, you're like, oh, I think that would look good in my camper. You can take a picture of it, put it on your mood board and see how it looks with all your stuff. If you haven't watched already, last week I took down the balances and added curtain rods. And um, this made my camper look totally different and it wasn't that hard. Now remember, anything that you have in your home that you want to bring in the camper, you can do that. A few little modifications to kind of give you an idea of this, the curtain rods. For your home, these are great. They wanted to move back and forth and well, in your home, they wouldn't move back and forth, but in the camper, they did. So I took nano tape and just attached it to the rod and to the bracket to hold them in place because I needed to do a modification from something that you would use in your home and bring it out to your RV. So just remember, 
that sometimes you might have to tweak something a little bit to make it work in your camper. Don't just look at RVs to find your style. Look at pictures of homes and that you like the style that they have decorated and you can transform that into your camper. I love a few of these different styles. Like I would, I love the boho and the farmhouse. Those are some of my favorite styles for a camper. I think they're pretty. I hope this video helped you pick the style for your RV. Till next time, like and subscribe.